So the argument that you can separate Nazism from anti-Semitism is a historical debate people have. And my perspective is, I think it's, I do not find it convincing that you can separate those two. I think anti-Semitism was essential to Nazism. I think Nazism and Mussolini's fascism have very big differences. Um, and do you think uh, do you think anti-Semitism was fundamental to who Hitler was, or yes. was it just a? So this is the interesting thing: is like, it was it a tool that he saw as being effective? No, he believed it. So why do you see those as intricately connected? Could uh, Hitler have accomplished? the same amount or more without the Holocaust. Yeah, because think about how many resources you had to divert at right. a time where you have an Operation Barbarossa with Stalin. So why are they connect why are they so connected? Uh is it because Hitler was insane or was he a bad strategist? Or he what? was obviously a bad strategist. He took he had no need to open a second front. His generals, my understanding, told him this is crazy. It didn't work out for him at all. Uh I I mean to draw Russia and her resources into that war, it makes absolutely no sense in retrospect. There's a book about, I forgot what it's called, where it talked about him at that point was just high all the time on amphetamines and that could have affected his thinking. Yeah, there's a really good book on drugs. Yeah. The, uh, I forget what it's called, but yeah, it's, it's a really um, good one. But it was, I mean, scapegoating is a big part and parcel of uh, the Nazi mythology. And this kind of one universal figure to explain, you know, this kind of, you know, skeleton key. But it could have been the communists. I mean, that that, that could have been the source of the hatred. So like- but the communists didn't get Germany into World War One, like he said the Jews did. It seems to me that the atrocity of the Holocaust is the reason we see Hitler as evil. No, the reason we see Hitler as evil is because of World War II propaganda still. Because we don't see Stalin as evil. Right, that's we my We don't see Mao point. as evil to that extent. Uh, I think that why, like, why would you say that? You know so what? Because the nature I, of that propaganda. Be, be, because I think a lot of the problem for the certain type of mentality is Hitler didn't mass murder equally. So as long as you're killing just one group, it's a problem. But if you're murdering everyone equally, all of a sudden it's like, eh, what are you going to do? So the fact, like you were saying, the Holodomor is not common knowledge. The fact that Mao's fifty million dead not common knowledge and Richard Nixon can be raising a glass to him in China. These are things that I think the West has not done a good job reconciling.